This type of claim is not new okay. or unique to Belize. It's okay. happened elsewhere. In fact, it's ongoing in other parts of the world, and there have been a particular way of, of dealing with it. Um, one, the expert studies the distribution, just as the Elections and Boundaries Commission should, and determine whether or not the districts as drawn meet the constitutional requirements. Um, once that analysis is done, then the next step is what needs to be done in order to bring it into compliance. And, and normally there is a range of possibilities. So it's about presenting all of that so that everybody fully appreciates just how malapportioned the divisions are and just what steps can be taken to correct it. Sir, so is there uh, a situation where the parliament increases in size to the, um, to, 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 to get more representatives to represent those the, the, the population? No, the, the constitution fixes the number of constituencies. It's fixed at 31 and it can't go below 28 according to, without constitutional amendment. The redistricting is about making sure the divisions are drawn within those parameters to ensure that the effect of each vote is nearly as possible equal. The affidavit that he has put forward intimates certain things that I believe and yours to the benefit of the case. And um, should we have those experts come in, I think it's always good to have knowledgeable people on the issue um, giving their expertise, the benefit of their expertise to the court. I believe that's where we need to go. Mr. Um, Saliba, as, an, as a politician or a former politician yourself, sir, maybe you can shed some light on this particular issue of redistricting. Um, we have conducted this exercise a few times before. Um, I don't think we relied on any quote-unquote expert witness or testimony. Why is that necessary this time around? Because what we did was not a comprehensive exercise in keeping with what the Constitution requires. What was done was that there was some gerrymandering of political borders to facilitate certain individuals who wanted to run in politics. In this particular instance, you are not looking to serve an individual or individuals, you're looking to address the needs and interests of the people of Belize as a whole, to ensure that democracy is given a chance to at least operate the way it should. And in so far, as it relates to finances in politics, as we know, uh, my namesake was on Love FM this morning, incriminating himself, I may add. And um, he was saying that he was doing this because of this large constituency that he's responsible for, of over 8,000 people. Now, it's sad that he would try to make all of them upon his accomplice in what he has done. But the truth of the matter is that when we redistrict and bring the constituencies within constitutional parameters, we mitigate the need for large finances in addressing the issues of the people because we give them more representation instead of less.